To get started with Arduino IoT Cloud, you will need a microcontroller board with Wi-Fi compatibility. I have an Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi here. In your first project, you will control an LED directly through the internet. So to build it, just follow these steps. Step 1. First go to cloud.arduino.cc and sign up for a new account. Once you are inside your account, go to devices and click on add device. Now select your board type. Since I am registering the Uno R4, I'll choose the first option. For the ESP32 or any other non-Arduino board, select the second option. Next, we need to install the cloud agent on your system. Click on install, then download. Once installed, you'll see a prompt. So close this tab and connect your board to the system. And once your board, Uno R4 Wi-Fi in my case, is recognized, we need to configure it. This process can take up to 5 minutes or sometimes even longer. Give your device a name and click next. When the setup is complete, you will get a message. Click done and you will be redirected to the home page. To check whether your device is registered, go to the devices section. Here's my board name, but it's still offline. So let's move on to the next step. Step 2. Go to the things section. and give your project a name. To create your first cloud variable, something I'll explain in a bit, click on add. Give the variable a name, in my case it's LED state. Now the following step is crucial, so pay close attention. Here choose the type of variable, in this case boolean. Why boolean? Because the state of the push button can either be 0 or 1. Next select the read and write option, because we want to control the LED. You have to use the read only option only when the variable is linked to the input data, such as sensor readings. Next is the variable update policy, which simply means do you want the variable to be updated only when there's an actual change or do you want it to be updated periodically, like every 10 seconds. If you were reading a sensor, the periodic update would be the right option. But here we will select the first option and click add variable. You will see the variable listed here. Now click on select device to link the board to the variable. Here's our board. Click on associate. Next enter your network credentials to connect the board to the internet and click save. To be honest, this is the step that people usually forget. So make sure you remember it whenever you're creating a new thing. Step 3. Now that we have created a cloud variable named LED state, we need to create a visual control for it, such as a push button. Go to the dashboard section. Click on create dashboard and give your dashboard a name. To create your first widget, click on add. You will see tons of different widgets, but all we need right now is a push button. This visual push button should be linked to the variable we just created. Select it and click on link variable. Now whenever I press this push button, the value of the cloud variable should change. But nothing will happen because we still need to program our board for this to work. Step 4. Go to the thing section, select your thing and click on sketch. This is the default sketch created by Arduino and we'll need to make some changes to it. See this comment here. The following variables are automatically generated and updated when changes are made to the thing. And the variable which is mentioned here is LED state. Now at the bottom of the sketch is the function on LED state change which is automatically generated. So whenever the variable LED state changes, this function is called. Now I have made the necessary final changes to the program so that whenever the push button on our IoT dashboard is pressed, the LED on pin 13 turns on. Step 5. To upload the sketch directly from here over the internet, you will need a paid plan. If you are on the free plan, follow these steps. First open the ID on your system and log in to your cloud account. Once done, you will see all your sketches here. To download the sketch we just created, click on pull sketch and open it. This is the exact same code that we just wrote. Now we have to upload it manually to our board. But first, let's hook up an external LED to digital pin 13. Okay, now upload the code. Now that the code is uploaded, Let's open our IoT dashboard and press the button. 
As you can see, the LED is working as intended. So this is how everything is working together. When I press the push button, the cloud variable value changes to 1. When it changes, the function is called and the LED turns on as the LED state variable is 1. When I release the button, the cloud value changes to 0 and again the function is called but this time the LED turns off as the variable is 0. Similarly, you can control many different outputs such as a servo motor where a slider controls the servo position. You can also read sensor readings and plot a graph, for example, the readings from an LDR sensor attached to a plant in your home. So that's how you can use the Arduino IoT Cloud to create awesome IoT projects. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment.